Hello you lovely people. Today I've got another video for you and of course I'm showing you my latest kind of newest purchases and acquisitions. Basically all the new things that I've got in my wardrobe that I'm treasuring like crazy. Um, this video is a little bit different to the others because first of all I have a Luz of Your Roma haul. Like part of this haul is going to be like purchases from Luz of Your Roma but actually I haven't even opened them yet and it's burning me inside. Postman brought this like three days ago and I had a really really busy schedule so I haven't had a chance to actually film this video and I knew I wanted to do an unboxing for you guys so for three days I haven't had a chance to have a look at my new things. Uh, besides the unboxing that I'm gonna do now I also have a few things that I bought in US on my uh, latest trip. I went to Dallas then I went to LA and Coachella. Stayed in US for about two weeks. Bought a few things which I will of course show you as soon as I'm done with this unboxing because I'm dying to open it and see it. I love how beautiful Luz of Aroma packaging is so I um, really wanted to show you that as well. As you know I uh, basically on a monthly basis have an opportunity to pick a few pieces from loseofyaroma.com and I'm gonna show you what I picked this month and it's probably so far the most exciting well at least for me so let's please start with this because I'm dying I'm feeling quite precious about lifting this lid so the lid is off guys and then so when you open it you get like a delivery note and this is how it's wrapped. You can see like I really really didn't even open it. For three days this has been sitting in my house and if you think that I could have had a peek I couldn't because the items are in the boxes so this is what so now you can see it's something from Gucci. I know I know I'm really really badly obsessed with Gucci lately. Basically all the money I earn goes to Gucci so Okay, the ribbon's gonna come off now. Yeah, like I said, it's even worse. It's basically, yeah. First, I'm gonna start with a little brown one. This is something that I've seen quite recently and I thought like, wow, this could be quite cute. And at first I thought I wanted it in a camel color. But as you can see, I ended up getting it in red. So it is a bag indeed, obviously comes in in a little Gucci um, pouch there and then when you take it out it is a wallet on a chain by Gucci, oh this is upside down, <laughs> classic. So this is what it is, it is like a grainy red wallet on chain by Gucci, it comes with all the tags and things like this from Lose of Your Aroma. And then when you open it, inside it's pretty spacious comparing to my box, so it has like all the card holders in the back there, and then two compartments, one zippy compartment in here. Let's see if this opens. Yeah, it does. It's really beautiful and I think it just looks beautiful as a crossbody. I love this kind of like new logo. So this is really cute and I think it just quite fits quite a lot of different styles. But I'm most excited to wear it in the summer with the shoes that I bought. And I like maybe like a bandana and kind of like 70s boho vibe. I think that would be so, so freaking cute. I love it. I can't wait to wear it. Super excited about that. And then the other item from Luz of Your Roma. I will, of course, leave the links for everything I'm mentioning below. So go and check it out um, if you're interested in any of these pieces. I actually think that Luz of Your Roma has a pretty amazing selection of Gucci. Like their buying team is very like fresh and interesting. Like all the items are pretty cute. There's still more from Gucci that I want to get on there, but also really nice and fun things from like like so Fendi and yeah you like theory as well you'll definitely be able to find something nice so obviously when you open the shoe box comes with these two dust bags for the shoes and guys these are not going to be of everyone's taste they are kind of like of course you know I love grandma shoes so these are very fashion but definitely not going to be your sort of style if you like very let's say like bondo dresses type of thing you're probably not gonna like these but I love them these are like my day perfect heels so <laughs> dun, 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 dun. 
So these are the Gucci um, loafers with a pearly heel at the back and I don't know, I died for these. So my friend Sandra from 5 Inch and Up and I both wanted these, the same, the same shoe and then I got something else and something else and I think this is my third pair of uh, Gucci shoes this season so I got the loafers first and then I got the the heel that you could see in my top 10 shoes video which I will also link below if you haven't seen it and then I thought okay it's really time for me to get these especially after I saw as well that like another friend of mine like tried them on and I was like do you know what now I'm like completely convinced that I need them um, so these shoes are perfection Oh, I love them. You know what? I, I'm getting really distracted when I do unboxing videos because I really like start staring at things and not really like filming properly as I wouldn't normally if I would have seen these things before. But these are in size 39. We'll see how they fit because obviously I haven't tried them on, which wasn't so clever. But all of my other um, Gucci bits are in 39, so that should be alright. Really beautiful, small, uh, soft, almost like navy like leather. But I love them. I love the pearl detail on the back of the heel and they look so pretty on. The heel is very comfortable but still not too low. So yeah, there you go. Another grandma shoe. Of course, you guys know I love those. Now that I'm done with Louisa Via Roma haul and like purchases from there, I will show you what I got in US. So I'm going to continue with the Gucci theme. Yeah, there's more from Gucci. I know, like, guys, please, like... Bear with me, there'll be other stuff as well besides Gucci, but I just thought I'd finish with it first. So, without too much, like, surprise, I finally caved in and got the Gucci Dionysus bag. So, the reason why it took me so long is, even though I was literally eyeing it for so long, so I tried it on when I was flying to New York for Fashion Week, I tried on this one, and the one with the BL try if I find pictures and insert them here of me in my airport that I had trying them on. So I tried this one and the one with the embroidered B here. Then I tried them on again in Milan. Then I tried them on again in London, and then when I was flying to Dallas, I called up the airport and I was like, if you have one, you literally have to put it aside for me, I'm buying it, there's no chance I'm delaying this anymore because I really have to buy this bag. So um, what happened is they, they put it aside for me, which was like, great, I was flying from Terminal 5, so if you ever are flying from Terminal 5 and you want to invest in a piece, I saved up around £250 on this bag because obviously it was duty-free, which is amazing. And when I got there, I again wasn't sure, so I tried the one with the red like the red bits here and I tried the one with the B again I think I'm not sure so I tried again few no I tried the one with the flowers but like logo and then the flowers and um I was like do you know what this is the only one that I keep trying every single time I was like I just have to buy it and oh my god ever since it's been my favorite bag and the reason why is it has so many pockets so it has one pocket at the back here and I love this like sort of like tan thing that you can see everywhere here when you open it, it's quite messy still because I wore it the other day to my meetings. This has a pocket here where I quite like to keep my passports. And then it has three pockets at the back, which I'm not sure how to show you without... Yeah, there we go. Something like this. I'm sorry about the messiness of it. There's like my charger, my other phone, my card holder. So it has like these two pockets and the zippy pocket in the middle, which is also very useful for like um, like keeping your stuff safe, etc. when traveling. I love this bag so much at first i thought like i don't really like all logo stuff anymore and everything that i had previously that was like covered in logos i got rid of i gifted and stuff like that so i was like i really don't want to have anything with logos all over but i guess you know what i will wear it a lot by the time that i get bored of this style of the bag so far i'm very pleased and i am wearing it a lot especially for traveling if you're wondering it does not fit my laptop though but other than that perfection five out of five another purchase that i'm quite excited to show you is a pair of shoes in fact a pair of sandals and then we will get onto the clothes so i got finally I really got into these Chanel kind of like sliders but sandals because they have this bit here. They also make them without the sandaly bit so that they're like fully sliders. 
So on this bit here, you can find the chain, the very like recognizable Chanel chain, which looks like looks like the chain on on the on Vogue really, or on kind of like smaller version of the two five five chain, and it has this little Chanel logo here. I'm not sure if the light is catching it quite right, but it's over there. Very comfortable rubber wide shoe, and then this bit here. I wore these a lot because they're quite flattering and are quite cute, like with dresses and things like that. I love wearing these by the pool because this is like a rubber sole so I'm not really worried that they will get damaged. I don't know, I don't quite like the sandals that are like, um, what you call them, like a flip-flop style so I quite like the slider style and these seemed really cool so when I got them I was very very excited. So that is it with shoes and bags and I'm gonna show you a few pieces. If you're a subscriber you know that one of my favorite American designers is Marissa Webb I would say that she's getting like better and better at everything she does and when I was in New York Fashion Week in February I was really like eyeing up one of her jackets but for some reason I didn't get it so anyway long story short is I went to Intermix because when we were in Dallas I realized that I wore my white dress on the first evening and that there was a white party on the last evening so that was a very very bad choice of outfit so I had to buy a white outfit. We went to Intermix for me to find this white outfit and I just browsed through this sale rack because of course who doesn't love a good bargain and I found this jacket which is exactly the same that I wanted which looks really bad on this hanger now but looks so cute on which I'll have to show you. So it looks really like cool and messy and oversized and I love it. I already wore it so many times. Beautiful material and guys you're gonna die when I tell you how much I got it for. So this jacket was originally $699 and I got it for $100. I mean if that's not a good bargain nothing is. I got it in size medium even though ideally I would need a small but because it's kind of like naturally oversized but this is what they had and I tried it on and it looked cute and I was like it's done I'm buying it. I love it so so much. I traveled in it and it was so cozy to like cover myself and to like like just to like cuddle up in um, on the plank. The actual white item that I got in Intermix, is it other way around? No it's not. Um, is by Derek Lamb, uh, yeah, for Intermix and it is most beautiful white dress. I will, I do have a picture for this because this just doesn't do it any justice because when I saw it on the, on the hanger I was like I can see it's white but I don't know what it is. So it's like an off-shoulder dress which is kind of like a shirt and then you tie it around your waist. I'll insert the picture here. It's absolutely stunning. I love it so much. I'm so happy I bought it because the night that I wore it I got so many compliments and other bloggers came up to me and they were like we wanted to buy that same piece as well and another girl said I tried it on but I wasn't sure and I was like I got it I'm so happy so yeah I love it I already wore it like twice I think and yeah it's a really 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 cool piece very last thing that I got on my two week trip in the US was something like of a more more of a Coachella vibe I would say but I haven't shot it yet um, it is a free people set so obviously free people is a US brand and whenever I go there I love to check it out this is a top for the dress or the it's not a dress if this is a top right so it's like a top for the set and it's really cute white and gray thing with like a cross at the back I will again insert the picture and this is the skirt which is like a midi so this is basically together yeah, can you see that? Yeah, the picture's coming soon. <laughs> so basically, this is what I wore as well twice. I really like this because it's super easy to wear. You don't have to think like what top, what what shoes, whatever. You just kind of like put on whatever you have and it works. I wore it with like a light pink uh, Valentino Rockstead flats and with something else. With uh, I think like a light pink Valentino bag as well because I thought that it would be perfect. But now that I'm talking about the Valentino flats I realized I purchased two more things before my US trip because I was like oh I really need these things for my trip so I'm gonna show them to you now. So before I went to US I knew I was gonna get into this like climate with much better weather and I thought like I really need like few classic pieces that will take me through uh, the two week trip. So I invested in a pair of Valentino Rockstead flats because um, I already have a pair in like white and pink and I wore them so 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 much that 
yeah, I can't wear them anymore. So these are the shoes that I've already worn quite a bit. I absolutely love them. I think they kind of like spice up any look and they're neutral. They're in the same color as my uh, Rockstud bag. So like very, very same color. I wore these with the Free People um, set that I just showed you. And I also love wearing them with like a boyfriend jeans and things like that because I think they're just very cute and love wearing them with white jeans as well and things like that. And then an investment that kind of my sister made me buy. So one day I was just like, I think on train back from London and my sister texted me saying like, you really need to buy these Chloe wedges. So now you know what I'm going to talk about. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I've seen them before and I always wore them before, but then somehow I was just like... You know, whatever. I think we saw them in when I was with Victoria, Susie, Sandra and Emiliana in Paris uh, for the Givenchy trip. And I think we saw them and we were like, oh, these are really nice. So this is what they are, the tan veggies. I never somehow managed to buy them. And then my sister got like really on the case and she was like, you really need to buy these shoes. They will go with everything. I obviously got a Chloe Drew bag in the same color, which is pretty perfect. But I wore these so much. I wore them even to Coachella Festival. I wore them a lot, like throughout the whole trip. I love this, like with a whole white outfit, for example, like white jeans again. How many times did I say white jeans during this video? Anyway, like with dresses, with skirts, they look so flattering, really elongate the leg and are extremely comfortable because if you look at it, it's more of a flat form even than of a platform. So it's not really that much of a heel. They're extremely comfortable, have great support and I just really, really love them. That is all for my recent kind of luxury and more expensive uh, pieces that I've got in. I know this seems kind of crazy, there's a lot of stuff in there, but I'm very excited to wear them throughout my next trip as I'm heading to America actually quite soon again. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below which item is your favorite of all of this. So which item from this video did you like the most? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye!